to have a look at hydrocarbons. Okay, so the first thing to notice is there's a bit of a clue in the name. In the name, you've got two atoms. One is hydrogen, and the other is carbon. Okay, so what we're really looking at when we're looking at our hydrocarbons is molecules of just hydrogen and carbon. The next thing I think you need to know is how to count to 10 in carbon chemistry, because it kind of makes this whole subject a little bit easier. So if you've got meth in your name, you've got one carbon. If you've got eth, you have two. Prop, you've got three. Bute, you've got four. Pent, pentane, pentecostal, you've got five. Hex, you've got six. Hept, I don't think is as well known. You've got seven. Oct, octopus, octogram, you've got eight. Non, you've got nine. And deck, you've got ten. Ten carbons in your backbone. Okay, so there's one other thing I want you to understand while we're here. I'm going to draw a line. The reason why we've got a line with an arrow on it is because as those carbons get longer, meth meaning one carbon, hex meaning six, deck meaning ten, you have got a pattern. These hydrocarbons get more sticky, so they become more viscous. They also are less volatile and so are quite difficult to ignite. And their boiling points and melting points get higher. Okay, so as those carbon chains lengthen, you become more sticky, more viscous, less volatile, less easy to ignite. And your melting points and your boiling points get higher. So it'd be really useful if you can just remember a few of those points for me. Okay, now I want to introduce you to the two families of hydrocarbons you actually need to know. All right, so the first one is your alkane. Now, the clue is always in the name. You've got a alk, which means the number of carbons that are actually in your chain. And ane actually means you have a saturated hydrocarbon. And that just means that all of the carbons have got a bond that is bonded off. I'll show you what I mean. So if I take the name, let's do pentane, pent meaning five, ane meaning saturated. Let's have a little look. One, two, three, four, five. And then actually each one of these has got four bonds and therefore they are saturated. So there's the first one done and then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then you can saturate with your hydrogens. Okay, so your pentane is just a pent meaning five carbons, an ane meaning that all of those carbons are saturated off and all of the bonds have bonded. Okay, so the other side of the family, that is your alkenes. Again, the ALK will tell me the number of carbons and this time ENE -E tells me actually I am unsaturated. And that means I have a double bond, which I'm going to draw like this. So let's have a little look. If I give us pentene, pent again meaning five, en meaning that somewhere on my chain I'll have a double bond. Let's have a little look. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, always put your double bond one back from the end because it's easier. Okay, so then let's just have a little look at these bonds. You've got the first bond already there, so it goes one, two, three, four. 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then you can flood with your hydrogens. So let's just make super clear on our counting so that we know what we've got. When we're counting on our alkane, there's one bond, two bonds, three bonds, four bonds. When counting the carbon at the front of our pentene, one, two, three, four bonds. Now counting through one of the double bonds, one, two, three, four bonds. Leave a comment down below and let us know if we've nailed it. Or drop us a line at Learn It Get Easy if there's other things you need us to cover. I hope we made that easy.